hello everyone hey. welcome 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 hello we hope welcome. you're doing well welcome to it's a mom's life yes just so that you know the show you know just in case you don't last week we spoke to the owner annika ceo of pika bond and it was such a delightful chat around how you can connect with the family and friends through a safe application that can be really fun that doesn't expose kids to like social media and all that nonsense that's out there so definitely a show to check out and an app to check out that is very innovative awesome stuff it's august which means it's women's month here in south africa mm -hmm. i'm not sure if it's women's month all around the world but anyway we will celebrate women throughout this month why not women of every color shape size we truly truly honor you you are special you are treasured you are needed you are strong you are courageous you are beautiful maybe yes. you don't hear these words enough but we want you to hear them from us here it's a mom's life and you can say them to your neighbor or to your friends too yes so this month the first woman that made a difference that we're going to look at is eve yes the first mother to ever exist what a mental wow. to carry. Yeah. Wow. Hey. So Eve was the first woman and the first mother without right. a single role model hey. or mentor. No, okay, I suppose she, you know, she did have God, which was awesome. Yeah. Um, but that was before she was actually a mom. So she paved the, ma the, the maternal way to become mother of the living. Her name means living thing or life. So hey. Eve means living thing or life. Since you've experienced fellowship with God before sin and the fall, she probably knew God more intimately than any other woman oh, uh, after her, right? So, you know, I'm kind of jealous of, of Eve because she it likes to do it. Yeah, you see, yeah, you see, <laughs> she got to be with God, you know, can you imagine like just being with God every single day? Like he's your friend. He's coming. How's it? Listen, hey. I'm coming over. God's coming. Listen, Goodness. just tidy up the, the leaves around, like make it nice, <laughs> you know, um, you know, she, she must have gotten firsthand advice or guidance from God. Have That's you ever awesome. wondered how it would be to have God visit every single day hey. and ask him any questions because there was no sickness. But of course, you know, you can ask him anything. But back then, I suppose, it was, you know, there were no problems. There was no sickness. There was no disease, you know, that kind of thing. So before before they made the decision, they made to eat, that they made when eating the apple, you know, there was no problems. But in that, I'm sure as a woman, after the fall, she must have felt so guilty and alone. So, you know, she had that bond with, with God and it was amazing. Hey. Then everything was perfect. And when they ate that apple, now all of a sudden she doesn't have that bond anymore. And it's almost like, you know, I, at least I would have felt it's my fault, you know. Not because God uh, punished them, but because now she didn't have the access to God firsthand like she did before. And I'm sure as a first time mom, we can all feel that way sometimes, you know. But God made a plan to send Jesus, right? So we don't necessarily have God right there as in you know like Tundle's right here with me yeah. we don't have God physically that we're looking at him and seeing him but they he sent Jesus right yeah. that Jesus came and that must have been so amazing um but not only that now people can go oh yeah but now Jesus died and now he's raised and he's gone to heaven we have the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. we have the Holy Spirit so it's so wonderful how God just makes a plan for us even though we, you know, Eve, Adam sinned, God made a plan. God brought Jesus. Yeah. Jesus then left the Holy Spirit. God's not going, listen, you're on your own. Cheers. Listen, I'm out of here. Um, God really made a plan for, for us, for her and for us. Yeah, that is that is awesome. You know, I never used to really consider Eve before the fall. I mean, not even thinking of her, what she looked like before then until mm -hmm. we did this this specific show now. So I always remember her as a girl who ate the fruit, yeah. the problem of problems. When you think Eve, that's the first thing I would I would go to. Yeah. But can we consider the fact that she saw God's face? She walked with God. Oh. She talked with God. What a privilege, like you yeah. said now, not talking to God, like, isn't fi like God is there. Like I am seeing yeah. Denise right here next to me. That is uh, a privilege that, I mean, Eve had that. What more could you need? So it's yeah. important for all of us to have that kind of intimacy with God. Like Denise mentioned, Jesus came to restore that, right? That intimacy with God so we can make a difference in the world. Because Eve made a difference not because she was skilled or intelligent, 
but because of who she knew. Sure, that's Eve good. firstly had a relationship with God, and from that relationship, she became a mother of all mothers of yeah. all humanity. Yeah. So God decided it would be a, it would be good for Adam to have a companion and a helper. Yeah. God cared so much for Adam that He gave Adam us. Hey. Eve, How awesome right? Is that? Just like you, mom, today are your husband's helper and your child's caregiver. That's our role. That is our role. And I know that the whole thing about, you know, uh, women's rights and, you know, women need to rise to the top and be like these amazing. Yes, you should be. These, I don't know what it's called. What is it called, Tano? When the women are like, I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, when, when, you, when you think sort of like, you know, you, mom, being mom is not it's not good enough or it's not enough or it's this minute thing, you know, something that's silly that a husband or a man should do or can do. Yeah. It's not. It's it's our duty to be mother. Um, you good. are more than welcome to be that woman that is, you know, businesswoman and yeah. business orientated. And it's not it's it's not only like a masculine thing to be like a businesswoman, mm -hmm. but that woman is not exempt from taking care of her children and her husband too. It is not a husband's responsibility. And I'm not talking about the husband must sit back and do nothing. I'm talking about it's not just a husband's responsibility to go, yeah. um, I'll feed the kids. I'll make sure they get clothes. I'll, uh, don't worry, you can just do business. It's not like that. Mm. A mom is there to do exactly that, to take care of her husband, to take care of her children. And obviously the husband has his things to do as well. We're not talking about Adam. We're talking about Eve. Hey. But <laughs> um, don't ever neglect that. And it's such a privilege. I think women yeah. sometimes don't look at it as a privilege mm. to be a mom. Yeah. It's, it's actually a, a very, it a yes, at times. it's not That's a burden. It's a privilege mm. to be a mom. I love that. It's a privilege. Oh. Yeah. I think we need to. I need to look at it like that myself, because sometimes I feel like I don't look at it as a privilege. Yeah, I yeah. So yeah, just hearing that just makes me go, oh, it actually is a yeah. privilege. <laughs> we we know the story, you know, of the fall of man. We know. I mean, Eve is famous for that. The yeah. serpent deceived and lied to her, and she believed it. And as a mother, the serpent is still whispering lies to our ears to this day. You mm. are not good enough, mother. You are not a good enough, you know, mother, or you are a failure. The serpent is still attacking our identity as women. In fact, I know we all want to have, you know, a chat with Eve when we get to heaven because we think, yeah. how could you? <laughs> how could you have done that? Words are very powerful. Yeah. A word of doubt. You entertain it. That can cause your fall as a mother. So if you think, for example, you're not good enough, that can cause your fall in that day or in that moment because you're feeling not good enough to do what you're supposed to do as a mother. So think something else, something better about yourself. Let us not entertain the words of the serpent. Yeah. So, you know, Im if you look at Eve, I'm sure she must have had those image issues after uh, after yes. she had the whole Apple sure. incident, Apple incident. <laughs> 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 um, you know, she not only physically did she perhaps look at herself and go, oh, my word, like I'm now naked, like realizing, but also now, um, you know, her image in terms of how, I don't, this is how I would think if I were Eve, mm. how amazing I was to God, but now I've sinned and now I'm not amazing anymore. Mm. Now I'm, now I'm flawed. Now I've messed up. Now I'm hated. You know, we learn from Eve that women share in God's image, right? We have the feminine qualities that are part of, of the character of God. So God is not a woman, but God is God. Mm. God created us is in his yeah. image. Um, God's purpose for creation could not be fulfilled without an equal participation of womankind with That's Adam good. and Eve. Mm. God teaches us that God wants us to choose him freely. Mm. He doesn't want us to have this... Um, this robot relationship with him. Yeah, that's good. He wants us to choose him freely and to follow and obey him out of love. Um, it, it was never meant to be that, that we must just do because God said we mm. must do it. We yeah. must do because we want to do. Yeah, good. He doesn't want us to, to do it because we have to. Also, nothing we do is hidden from God. We can go around blaming other people for, for things we are doing wrong. You know, that's sometimes what we do. Um, instead of accepting it as a personal responsibility and going, you know, I've messed up. 
I have made the wrong actions here. I chose the wrong thing. Um, you know, so it's it's really important for us to be able to go, I've messed up, but God's grace is there and yeah. now I can move forward. Yeah, we know the fall happened. God threw them out of the garden, right? Mm. Now Eve becomes a mother of two boys, Denise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cain and Abel. <laughs> no, yeah. she doesn't have Cain and Abel, you know what I mean. <laughs> but she became a mother of two boys and I just started thinking of her in a mother in a mother's perspective. She's raising these two boys, teaching them to stop fighting each other. Yeah. Maybe every day, maybe every hour because I mean if you have kids, you know kids you know, are always fighting at some <laughs> at some point of the day. Yeah. But there is no book to help her on how to deal with that. There's no advice. There's no other mother, you know, or her sister. Yeah, but she, she had to learn everything herself. Mm. Or maybe she had to learn from God. I mean, she did have God, of course. But now I'm thinking as a mother, how did she learn how to, you know, control her kids or raise her kids in, in, yeah. in the right way? It's She's doing it for the first time. So let's give this woman a break. And let give yourself yeah. a break as a mom. Yeah. You know, Eve's choice to sin resulted in consequences, right? So when yeah. you sin, there's consequences. Not only childbirth pain, but also death. Yeah. And I think in many Very situations, true. it's the same for us. So we learn that when, when we choose to sin, death will follow, okay? It may be physical, spiritual, mental, etc. So it's not just a physical death. Mm. It can yeah. be in many forms and it may not happen straight away as well. Uh, it didn't just, you know, she didn't give birth to Cain and he died. It was years and the sin came in. Yeah. Just like she physically lost her son Abel because, sorry, it was Abel, not Cain. Physically s lost her son Abel because of Cain's decision to sin. Uh, can you imagine that guilt? Hey. That guilt of, if I hadn't. Uh, this wouldn't have happened. And we can all think like that. Yeah. But God then allowed her to conceive Seth. You see, he provide yet again, he provides again. Yeah. It reminds me of the story of Paul on the boat. Um, you know, when he uh, when he basically told the, the guys on the boat when he was a prisoner, listen, don't we can't go. There's gonna be a storm. Yeah. And um and they were like, No, we're going, we have to go, we need to get to where we need to get to. And yeah. obviously, Paul had to get to his destination as well, and he needed to, to you know, preach the gospel and, and speak to Caesar or whoever it was. Yeah. Um, but in in that, they didn't listen to him. They went against what he was saying. So it's kind of like us going against God and sinning. But in the midst of when now the storm had happened on the boat, and Paul actually got everyone together and went, no one jump because yeah. um, even though you didn't listen to me, even though there's sin, yes, mm -hmm. there's consequences now. We have to deal with the consequences. But because I'm here, God is going to get me That's to awesome. my destination and no one is going to die. Right. And it happened. He actually, they, they arrived at their destination. They lost a lot of things. They lost food. They had to take throw food off the boats. They had to throw a whole bunch of stuff off the boats. But no lives were lost. So there's consequences to the actions. But God will always get you to your destination. And, and, and just just trusting in him and learning from your mistakes, our mistakes as parents or as moms, is so key and so important. Just get up, keep Very moving. Good, yeah. no, that is awesome. And today's verse is actually Genesis um, 4.25. Mm. We're ending with this one. It says, And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and named him Seth. For she said, God has mm. appointed for me another offspring Amen. instead <laughs> of Abel, for Cain has killed him. I mean, Eve's response yeah. to God in, in this pregnancy or, you know, shows how much she was grieving for her, for her son yeah. and how much she was in pain for her son. But look at God, because she says they enjoy that God has appointed another yeah. offspring. Amen. So that excite that restoration that she was experiencing from God that's what God does for us. God restores us. He restores what was lost, what the locust has stolen. God will appoint another offspring. If he did it for mm -hmm. Eve, he will do it for us. Amen. And when I think of Eve's life, her life must have been so remarkable. Not every detail is in the book of Genesis, right? Yeah. But now just thinking of her as a mom, as we moms here. I mean, what a first woman to choose to actually speak about because yeah. really from her... We can learn so much. She was the firstborn of all mothers. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So we hope that you're encouraged today, even though, you know, things happen and you may sin and you may not get things right all the time. Yeah. God has got you. 
um, and you are born for this. That's you right. are a person that is going to literally flourish. But that's it from Man. myself and Tando on that's It's a it. Mom's Life. Live, laugh, and love here on Active FM. Yes. We will check you out. Make sure you look at us. Check us out on Facebook. But we're heading out with a song from Hillsong, Forever Rain, Raya Remix. Goodbye.